Hey, what's going on, fellow flippers? This is John at Flipper Dollar, and uh, we're gonna make a video today of uh, some mistakes that I made that I'm gonna share that hopefully uh, can pass on to you so you don't make the same mistakes. But in the meantime, I have a new intro video. Uh, please tell me what you think about it down in the comments. Without further ado, here we go. Grab that cash with both hands and make a stash. Well, I hope you liked it. Um, I put a little bit of work into that one. Uh, I think the music was fitting, um, but let's uh, basically, let's get into it. All right, guys, so as you all know, um, I'm pretty new on the uh, resale, uh, getting back into everything here. And I just wanted to share a couple of mistakes that I've made along the way. Um, I didn't make a sale today. Um, I don't know if I even put the video out. Uh, but I will share that one here pretty soon. Um, okay, so mistakes I've made, things I've learned so far is that um, sometimes you get a little bit carried away in uh, shopping. Um, I've bought entirely too much product um, and um, I can't keep up with the listing part of it because I am buying more than I'm listing, which is a very bad mistake that you guys should not do. Um, so there's that issue. I'm trying to get caught up here. Um, I'm almost there though. Uh, okay, <laughs> a lot of things that um, uh, that's very frustrating for me is that uh, doing comps. Um, sometimes I get caught up in the moment. I find these things um, and I think that there's value in it and I don't look up the comps and uh, I buy it and then I get home and I investigate it and then come to realize that there's no real value there. Um, so stay away from that. Try to always comp out what, what it is that you're sourcing. Uh, make sure that there's the money there to be made. Uh, luckily, I don't have a whole lot of money um, tied up in, you know, my mistakes. It's like $2 here, a little bit there. Um, but it does add up over time. And it's uh, something that, um, you know, um, comp, comp, comp is basically the, the way I want to go. Um, I might have like a yard sale or something, try to get rid of some of some of the stuff, you know, to recoup my money. Um, but yeah, definitely look up what you're buying. Uh, don't fall into that trap because I did, and uh, it didn't it didn't work out. <laughs> um, another uh, thing that um, I'm making a mistake on that I don't know the answer to um, is a posh mark. Um, I'm not feeling like it's taking off the way that I should. Um, and I, I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I, I, I'm putting in the titles really good. Uh, I know the SEO part of it. I know how to do that part. Um, um, I got really good uh, brand names. You know, I got Affliction, J. Crew, um, a lot of good stuff. And I know um, I even dropped the prices like pretty a lot just to get things moving. And uh, I mean, I have sold some stuff on there, but for me, I, don't, I, I would like to sit down with some other posh markers and kind of like see how fast their turnaround is because to me it's very slow. It's not it's not something that I'm enjoying, um, the, the slow turnaround. I get tons of likes, uh, you know, when I send out the, you know, offers and stuff like that and I'm, I'm doing good deals. Um, so I'm not, not too sure what I'm doing wrong there, guys. Um, I'm just sharing that as a mistake. I don't know how to help you on that part because I'm, it's a learning curve for me. It's a new fat, uh, format that I haven't tried before that I'm trying to work on. Um, I'm trying to think of a couple other things, uh, mistakes I've made. Uh, checking your items. Um, <clears throat> so if you're at the thrift store, garage sale, yard sales, anything like that, be thorough, check your items, uh, make sure that you know there's no tears or crazy stains or anything like that going on. Um, a couple items I got um, aren't too terribly bad. There's one that was ripped that I totally missed on. Um, I got a couple of sweaters. Uh, they're really nice and high-end sweaters, um, but they got a lot of little swirly things on them. So I'm gonna have to buy one of those little guns that, you know, you go over it and it cuts those off and makes it really nice again. So make sure that you're checking the things that you're you're buying and that uh, you know there's not a lot of defects and stuff like that, and that the items are working. Sometimes you have to pick up some items that you have to take a gamble on that you don't know is working or not. Um, but try to you know spend not too much on those items unless you can verify that they're working right away. Uh, try to think a couple other mistakes. Um, I know I'm learning YouTube. Um, 
and I, as you can, guys can see, I used to have a lot of fill in, not over here, but over, yeah, right here, a lot of fill in. Um, I'm not too sure if I liked it or how you guys like it or not, um, because I'd rather go full screen, kind of like fit in with the rest of the crowd. And um, uh, so I was having problems there. That has nothing to do with eBay. I'm kind of going off subject here. Um, also, uh, pricing. Um, eBay pricing, you got to really, um, I think that's another mistake that I've, I've made is uh, overvaluing things that I have. So even though I have like nice products, I overvalue it. I kind of go in and I look at um, uh, the comps of what's sold and um, I see I go for the highest uh, sold and that's what I market mine at. And uh, I, I don't think that's good advice. I'm changing my uh, the way I'm going to handle that. Um, is not to go. I think you should like take a bottom end, take a top end, and kind of meet somewhere in the middle because uh, I'm all about flipping and getting that money back as soon as I possibly can and reinvesting it um, and not sitting on it long tail just trying to get that high end dollar. Um, that's not the way I want to run my business. Um, but uh, other than that, I'll keep you guys posted on any other mistakes or you know good deals that I that I do get. Don't get me wrong, I'm not doing horrible. Um, I'm doing all right. Um, there are items for sure that I don't have to look up. I already know it's gonna sell and I've grabbed those and I've sold them and they turned over real quick. A um, Couple of surprise items that I kind of took a wild shot at that I thought would be valuable and they did work out, they were valuable. So that's good there. Um, also, uh, again, thank you to the community. Um, all, the, all the views, all the comments that I'm getting um, is very flattering. I'm enjoying that part of YouTube so far. I still do have my mess in the background, forgive me. Um, I will be working on that this weekend, um, getting some stuff packed up and um, working on my channel here. Uh, I will be working on an outro too to go kind of with the intro. Uh, but um, guys, please, like I said, let me know what you think of my intro, if you like it or not. Uh, let me know uh, mistakes that you guys have made and uh, any advice. I'd love to hear it um, And thanks for watching guys. I will see you later